Harper's Pizza and Dough Company has been named one of the top 50 pizzas in the nation for the second year in a row. Just in time for the holidays, they are offering their new Nutcracker Pizza and a new event where you can bring your dog. Here in Studio 41 Kitchen to show us how we can make this pizza at home is Robert Garvey. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Love Thanks Actually, so much. the second year for this pizza, right? This is our second year. Yes, it's our it's our holiday pizza. We brought back the tradition again this year, and it's uh, we we do this uh, with the uh, Joffrey Ballet, and it's a pizza that's really inspired by the Nutcracker Ballet and also our family tradition. I, my mom used to take me to see the Nutcracker in New York when I was a kid. Uh -huh. My my wife danced there, oh, and then wow. my daughter danced with the Joffrey Ballet early on as well. So okay, with, with amazing. A, and, and all in the Nutcracker. I love it. So okay. this is very much part of the family tradition, and we can, we love doing this pizza. That's all right, fun. so you and your staff came up with this creation, and it has some very interesting uh, ingredients. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Yeah, so we start with we start with an olive oil base, a fresh mozzarella, and then we do uh, we use dates and figs, a little gorgonzola. Um, we bake it off and then we finish it with, with uh, a little burrata, a little Calabrian pepper oil mm. so that it gives a little bit of heat to sort of off the balance that the sweetness. Uh, and then we top it with speck, some roasted uh, walnuts, roasted pistachio, and then we finish it with balsamic glaze. Yeah. Ah. All right, can you start putting it together? Yeah. yeah. So if you, how it goes? Does anybody want to stretch I'll dough stretch with some me? I'll stretch some dough. I like okay. stretching okay. dough here. Yeah. So I, I like to stretch dough. Just, we start it just with our fingers, mm -hmm. like that, sort of get a, get a nice round. Uh, it, throwing it up in the air, yeah. and and then, then, right? And then often what I like to do is, is dip my fingers instead of a lot of PTO has put pizza, uh, flour right on the dough. I like just dipping my fingers in it and using it. And basically, it's like a typewriter. You're just kind of pushing it. And pushing this it is down. a very special secret family recipe, right? Uh, that um, it is. Only myself and my daughter know, actually know the actual recipe. It has okay. a wild yeast uh, sourdough starter. And then we do a two to three day cold ferment on the mm. dough. Ooh. And it gives us this great artisan, uh, artisan bread flavor. So now we're going to pick it up and kind of put it on the edge of our fist mm -hmm. and just sort of shuffle it. We're not really going to toss it, but just kind of shuffle it and open it up like this. Oh, wow. Look at that. It go. got even bigger so fast. Mm -hmm. That's okay. really good. Yeah, so this is probably going to be I'm a really in, nice, impressed. light you know, crust. We're, we're looking for pizziolas, so. Okay, there you go. <laughs> cool. And she has managed not to get it on her Not crust. yes, but I'm you know. Okay. All right. There and the great go. thing That's... about this pizza is you can enjoy it in the restaurant, but you can also oh, take it home and make it. Yes. That's fun. You guys yes. have a kit? Yes. So this is the first time we're actually offering a kit. So we have everything, um, everything that you see here comes in the kit, including the dough, um, all of, the, all of the, the balsamic glaze, the figs, girl. the cheese. Nice, very nicely done. Thank you. Yeah, it's very, a lot of, a lot of pizza done. makers. You get to t hot top it up. Oh, wow. I like so, to do that part. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is add some olive oil to it. Okay. Do we put a lot, a little? Uh, it looks like well, you're putting a lot well, on there. About like that. Okay, then, only in the middle though? All around it. And then okay. we're going to take it and we're going to spread it with the, ah, we're gonna spread so it with the mozzarella ball so you don't get all over your hands. Okay. That's really smart. And yeah, then we're going to. I never thought about that. Tear that same mozzarella into about 10 pieces and just put it around the pie like this. Okay. Fresh mozzarella. And this comes in the pie. Chip, yeah. Yes, it does. All, all we, we give you the figs, the dates, the gorgonzola. And I like these are figs that you say you reduce we re with port wine. We reduce wine? them a little bit of port wine. Did I do this? Too? Yeah, you did great. Some of them look still bigger good. pieces. That's okay. Okay. That looks great. No. Okay. okay. All right. So it's I got to pitch it with you. you. Okay. You can't, you can't go wrong. You can't with the get pizza. it wrong. Yeah. Okay. And so this is like what you would do when you were at home. Yes. Yeah, this is, and you just kind of sprinkle it on, mm -hmm. thinking that basically you're making eight. Eight uh, portions, so I, you know, this is oh, going to so get spread have it out. Yeah. This is going to get cut into eight Parts. slices, so everybody kind of gets a, an equal serving. Okay. And I love your story because you never set out to be a pizza maker. No, this is I'm a this is truly a, a hobby out of control. Yes, I was a marine engineer. <laughs> I used to, I was in the merchant marine, and I used to uh, run tankers and freighters, and uh, but I also have a background in hospitality as well, and. Um, but now we're, you know, making pizza. Look at you now. Just, you just never know. Yeah. What are we doing here? So we're now we're going to sprinkle the gorgonzola on. Ooh, I love a good gorgonzola. Ooh. We Looks do a little about, like blue we do cheese about an ounce a little bit. Or, it is. Yeah, same family. It's, yeah. it's an ounce or two of the, the gorgonzola, kind of like that. 
Okay. And I need some more. And then we're going to add... Oh, sorry about that's that. All right. uh, I didn't do it as well as you did. Okay. okay. And we're going to add a little bit of this shredded mozzarella. Now mine doesn't look as pretty as yours. It's going to all come out the it's same. It's going to all come out the yes. same. Yes. Okay. All right. So what are you doing with these pieces that became number the favorite, like the top 50 out of the country? Right. Man. That is a tall that order. Is a, that big is, one. That is, that is quite an honor. And I think really it has a lot to do with the dedication of, of, of my uh, myself and my, my team. It's just an amazing team and uh, you know it's, it's the long fermentation that really sort of the flavor oh, of the, crust the, is just of the dough yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Just, okay so we do this we stick so, it in the, the magic of pizza the and the magic of a pe television. magic of pizza magic of TV not pizza we well, pizza magical. One that we, that oh, we there you go. Look earlier. at that. We, we can, can leave, leave it we there. Can leave that there. So, we so you don't put the nuts on it until after it's cooked. Right. Oh, so wow. that, that's the finishing. So now we're going to put the stracciatella on it. Stracciatella. That's fun. Which, which is basically a mozzarella with with cream. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. That doesn't sound bad. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that. I'm yeah. just gonna spread this onto the. This is one fun. on each slice. Yeah, yeah, I love that you can do this at home with your kids too, and make it kind of just a big family event. And you also noticed, yes, it's it's great for the kids. They have a lot of fun with it. Uh, they can stretch the dough. They can they can make a mess. But it's pizza. You know, no mm -hmm. matter what yeah. you do to it, it's mm -hmm. it's still going to be great, no, no matter what. Okay, so we do that, and then we put on the. Um... So, the so the next thing is we're going to put the uh, oh, the calabrian pepper oils and give it a little bit of heat. Ooh, that's fun. It's going to yeah. go on like this. And then we're gonna put the speck on. And while you're doing that, I also want to mention you also have uh, cocktails that can go home too, right? Yes, we do. We have take-home cocktails. That's our old-fashioned. Mm, one of my favorites. Um, mm. And it's available, obviously available in the mm. restaurant. But this pizza sure. and a and a bottle of those cocktails makes a, you know, a great uh, a great holiday meal for for four. Yeah. Oh that's yeah. So fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm Actually, gonna grab I a do piece this of this myself. myself. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna just do this while you're so, okay. that up. So then I'm gonna, now we're gonna add a little bit of the pistachio slips. Ooh, are these just mm. regular pistachios Ooh. or have they been toasted or We've something? We've toasted them with a little bit of salt. Oh, okay. Um, and also <laughs> our walnuts. I'm an animal, sorry, I saw you have plates for us. I'm just like, oh. Yes. <laughs> you're sneaking over the so, kitchen sink. Oh, yeah. Well, you're cooking, so you, know, you eat while yeah. you cook. So everything is, and then we add a little bit of balsamic glaze to it. Oh, oh this is so good. And this is what it's finished. Oh, wow. That's, and there you go, perfect, the perfect holiday pizza. Mm. Voila! A couple, couple of old fashions and All right. it's, a, it's a great evening. Oh, oh fantastic right. too. Okay, wow. here's the information for Robert's Pizza and Dough Company. You can find where, oh, over on McClure Court. There's the uh, website and the social media handles. They're giving, not giving out, I'm sorry, the kits are on sale until Thursday. Yes. And, yes. Uh, but actually this is going to be on the menu through January the, is the what you said. The pizza's on the menu through January, yes. Okay, mm. all right, happy holidays. Same to you. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thanks, Everybody so much. Try the, yeah. So All right.